What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where we're going to cover the where, where strict and where between methods in Laravel collections. One of the most common methods when it comes to collections is the where method. And the where method filters the collection based on a given key value pair. If you have used MySQL before, which I actually expect you to have, you might think that the where method is similar to the where clause in MySQL. It partly is, but it's not exactly the same. The WHERE method in collections is used to filter a collection based on a specific key value pair or a closure, where the WHERE clause in MySQL is used to filter data from a database table based on a specific condition. The WHERE method is executed on a collection object in memory, while the WHERE clause is executed by the MySQL server. So there are some differences between both. So I have created a simple collection, which you can see on my screen right now, where I have stored two keys of name and age with their respective values. Now let's say that we want to retrieve an item where the age is equal to 22. So let's use our collection variable where we could chain the where method to it. The where method takes two arguments. The first argument is the key of the item in the collection you want to filter by, which in our case will be age. And the second argument is the value that you want to filter by which in our case will be 22. Now quick note, the default operator of the where method in Laravel is equal to. Whenever you want to use a different data type, you need to pass in a second argument of the operator that you want to use. So we can set it equal to greater than, not equal to, less than, and so on. So since we want to check for a specific match, we can simply remove our second argument. Once we perform our request, you will see that the where method has returned a new collection that contains the items that have passed the given truth test, which is a user with the name of Mike, where the age is equal to 22. So let's add an argument in between both, where we need to have the age that's higher than 22. Once we perform our request, you'll see that it has returned three users. Now next to using it on a collection we have defined ourselves, we could also use the where method on our article model. Let's give it a try. Let's say article, colon, colon, where. Right here, we're gonna check whether the is underscore published column is equal to true. Once we perform our request, you will see that it returns nothing. And this is happening because we do need to change the get method at the end of the query to retrieve the results of a query. Without get, the query will not actually be executed and no results will be found. Once we perform our request right now, you will see that it has retrieved all articles that are published. Now a pretty interesting feature that Laravel has to offer is that you could chain multiple where methods where multiple filters will be added based on key value pairs. So let's method chain on the line below where we're gonna add a second where method where the minutes to read needs to be equal to nine. Once we perform our request, you'll see that it has retrieved articles, but way less than before because we have added a second where condition. Well, let me actually add enters right here. All right. Finally, instead of passing in key value pairs inside a where method, you could also pass in a callback function. In the callback function, we can write any logic that we want. Now we're gonna pass in a variable of query inside our callback function which will be used to filter the article model. In our callback function, we can return the query where we could chain the where method. And you might wonder right here, why do we need to use the where method again? Well, the callback function has access to the entire item that's being filtered, whereas the where method is limited to filtering based on key value pairs. This allows for more advanced filtering criteria to be applied to the collection or query. So what we could do right here is basically say, well, get me the post where the is underscore published column is equal to true. We finally need to chain the get method to it. Oh, let me actually make it a little bit smaller again. All right. Once we perform our request, you'll see that we have retrieved all articles that are published. The next method that I want to cover is the where strict method, which uses a strict comparison operator. A strict comparison is a comparison between two values that checks for both the value and the type of the values being compared. So let's see how it works with the collection we have used in the previous example. Let's change the first name inside our collection to lowercase Dari, 
then we could use our collection variable and chain the where strict method to it. We need to add two arguments. First, we need to pass in the key, which will be name. And secondly, we need to pass in the value we want to search for, which will be capital Dari. In the output, you'll see that it has retrieved one user where the name is equal to Dari with a capital D. Now in PHP, the triple equal operator is used for strict comparisons, while the double operator is used for loosely comparisons. When using the where strict method in Laravel collections, a strict comparison operator is used to filter the collection. This means that only items with an exact match of the given key value pair will be included in the filtered record. Finally, we have the where between method, which is used to filter a collection based on a range of values. And we're gonna use it on our article model this time. So let's say where between. It takes two arguments. The first argument is the key of the item of the collection that you want to filter by. So let's say the minutes to read column, where the second argument is an array that contains two values, the minimum value and the maximum value. So let's say five and nine. Now finally, let's not forget to chain the get method to it. All right. Now this command right here will retrieve all articles where the minutes to read column has a value between five and nine. Now, quick note, you could also use the where between and where method together. So let's say that we want to chain the where method to it as well, but we're gonna change the search on the where between method to the created underscore at column, because we're going to retrieve all articles that are published between January 1st, 2023 and June 30, 2023, and that have at least five minutes to read. So we need to replace the integers inside our array. Let's hit enter right here. And let's say that the date needs to be 2023, 0101, where it has a second argument of 2023, 06, so June and 30. And then we could define the where method. So let's say where the minutes to read is greater than let's say five. So once we perform our request, You'll see that it has retrieved all articles that have been published between January 1st, 2023 and June 30, 2023, and that have at least a minimum of five minutes to read. Now, the advantage of using the where between method is that it allows you to easily filter a collection based on a range of values. It can be useful in situations where you need to retrieve items that fall within a certain range. So let's redefine the query that we have without the where between methods. So it will look like this. So let's say article where get. So the first where clause will be the created underscore at needs to be greater than or equal to 2023's January the first. Then we can chain another where method to it where the created underscore at column needs to be less than or equal to 2023 0630. Then we need to add another where method where the minutes to read is greater than five. And in situations like these, I simply prefer to use the where between method because it will eliminate one where method. Quick summary, we covered the where, where strict and where between methods in Laravel collections. The where method filters a collection based on a given key value pair. The where strict method uses a string comparison operator, where the where between method is used to filter a collection based on a range of values. In the next tutorial, we're going to cover the where in and where not in methods in Laravel. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.